Have you ever wondered what calculus was? No? Well, while not exactly a social hobby for those that aren't going down a STEM field, it does play a tremendous role in today's world. And who knows, you might look at it a little bit differently once you understand its purpose. Hi there, and welcome to Gimme Two. My name is Mark, and in this video, we will discuss calculus in just two minutes. As with my other videos, if you're interested in going straight to the two minutes, which discusses the theory behind calculus and how it accomplishes what it does, that is timestamped in the description. But if you stick around for a couple of minutes before that, I talk about the exciting history behind its development and some additional context, such as its practical uses in the real world. Quick note. I will not be going through any of the calculus math in this video, partially because I don't want to bore you too much, but also because I don't really remember any of it. A calculus in Latin is a pebble, and these would often be used on a counting board called an abacus. Obviously, that's not the calculus that we're going to be talking about in this video, but given the function of an abacus in mathematics, this word has been given to its mathematical derivatives, such as calculate or calculus. Calculus is a relatively new branch of mathematics, having been developed in the late 17th century. There was apparently a heated debate between Sir Isaac Newton and Gottfried Leibniz regarding who was its original developer slash publisher, but Historical consensus is that both men independently developed the study at roughly the same time. But what is calculus, and why do we need it? So let's say you walk into a grocery store and want to buy an apple for 65 cents, and you have a dollar. So you hand it to the cashier and he asks you, what's the third derivative of sine x squared plus cosine 3x cubed plus 2x plus 4? How are you going to answer that? Jokes aside, this branch of mathematics observes the mathematical relationship between related values, called variables, and calculates the results that occur from the changing of one or multiple variables. More on that shortly. While most people rarely do calculus, calculating these changes has many real-world practical applications, such as how spending on a product might react to a price change, or bacterial growth might react to antibiotics, and this can affect countless aspects in our lives. So let's get to the theory of calculus in the two minutes. Before we do, however, if you find this video informative, helpful, entertaining, then please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, sharing, all of those good things that helps videos like these reach broader audiences. It really does help the channel grow. But now let's get back to calculus in the two minutes. So let's get the clock started now. Calculus is a branch of mathematics that deals with change, and it is subcategorized into differential and integral calculus. Let's start with functions, which are equations that explain how something relates to its variables. For example, speed is a function of its variables, distance and time, miles per hour. Differential calculus finds derivatives, which are instantaneous rates at which functions change. Let's go back to speed. If I drive 60 miles in one hour, then my speed was 60 miles per hour. But that's just an average based on my change in position over one hour. Calculus also finds change, but rather than using distant points, like an hour, calculates the changes over infinitesimally close points, which we call limits. This helps us much more accurately derive, thus derivative, the speed at any given point during that drive. Integral calculus is the yin to differential calculus's yang, and finds integrals which are the opposites of derivatives. Back again to speed. If I know your speed at every given point of a drive, then I can calculate the distance traveled over the time that you were moving at that speed. Assuming your speed is changing, integral calculus can calculate the total distance given all of the speed changes over a given period of time. Derivatives, like speed, can have their own derivatives, like acceleration, which calculates the change in speed over time. And conversely, integrals can have their own integrals. Understanding how functions change based on shifts to their variables allows us to predict outcomes more accurately under different scenarios. As noted in the context, this has many wide-ranging uses and is not nearly limited to the example of speed used above. And that is the theory behind calculus. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I found it very informative and educational learning how calculus works, and I hope I was able to deliver it clearly to you. I understand that calculus isn't everyone's cup of tea, but it is pretty important in the world today, and I hope you were able to learn something from this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in another video.